Drawn is uh, a record label, um, but I guess really we're just a kind of collective of uh, artists, musicians and DJs. We, uh, we put out music, we release music uh, as a traditional record label would. We put on nights, uh, we publish art and writing. Artists we look for at Drawn are usually people who don't necessarily fit into a, a genre or a, or a pigeonhole. I guess really the, the things that draw us to the people we work with is essentially just the ability to move us on some emotional level. I'd like to feel that all our output reflects that. I guess our main flavour of the month is uh, Cloudbreak, who are um, just killing it at the moment, smashing it everywhere. Um, they're a, they're a, a duo, Louise Cody on vocals and Craig Hitchens doing the production. I guess they're kind of influenced from the dubstep movement, they've certainly got some monster basses going on, but it's coupled with really delicate, beautiful, emotive vocals. really think we can be pinned down to a genre. I, I wouldn't like us to be pinned down to any specific genre. Um, I, I guess that's a bit limiting really. I mean music is music regardless of what you call it. Um, anything that moves us and we love, you know, we'll, we'll be happy to uh, put our name to. Drawn gigs or drawn events, well we, we try to pack more into them than just the music. To start with, all our acts at the moment are pretty much electronic acts which in a live setting is not all that common. I mean, you do get your kind of club live Ableton users, but we do something a bit different. It's usually electronic music with a singer with live instruments thrown in. And we have uh, one of our members is a, a really up and coming talented video artist. We always have live visuals. Um, we have the drawing walls, so we have uh, resident artists come in and they do their thing. We give out stuff as well. Well, we try to. Free CDs, um, badges, uh, zines. We publish a, a little DIY zine with um, artwork from people we know, and you know, when that's in print, we give that bad boy out. Um, yeah, we try. We try to just make it more of an event than just a just a music gig. You know, there's there's other stuff going on. Right, well, funding is uh, a bit of an issue. Um, we, as a group, Drawn is not like a profitable thing. We don't make stacks of money. But on the other hand, it is, it is self-sufficient, you know, which is a good thing. We generally fund all our releases and everything, well, everything is funded by the live events. So that is, you know, we put on an event and we take money at the door and that, that tides us through. It's not a great deal, but it is enough to uh, to fund the, the releases and, and what have you. Um, promotion is uh, is a lot of work. <laughs> it's a lot of hard work. Obviously, you know the the standard printing flyers, designing posters, slapping them up left, right, and centre. This day and age, social networking is the key. Relentless Facebooking, Twittering. Uh, you know, we're always thinking of. of new ways to promote you know just to put the company in the in the public consciousness future plans have drawn uh take over the world obviously <laughs> uh, no just yeah we've got some great um artists on the on the roster for future signings um can't really say anything now because they're not officially done and dusted but some pretty well-known bristol big hitters are uh, looking pretty likely for some future releases which are uh, super stoked about um, and yeah just to carry on releasing good quality music I mean that's that's the thing we really want to do is not put out any rubbish everything we do is going to be absolutely blinding and slowly hopefully build up a really good reputation for ourselves and uh, be the kind of home that musicians will want to come to that they feel they can, you know, express themselves without limitations, commercial or otherwise, and just do their thing and make excellent music. <laughs>